Tell me about this pottery you have. Well, Phil Pottery started out in Irwin, Tennessee. Uh, the Clinchfield Railroad was a, was a local railroad that went from Elkhorn, Kentucky, down into South Carolina, but it came through the mountains. And so Irwin was the base. They wanted to try to get some industry started. So very early in the, uh, I believe around the early 20s, they started pottery businesses and helped get those up and going. And that branched out into what was called Blue Ridge Pottery, which was well known in the early 20th century, uh, really throughout the world. It was sold in Macy's and New York City and Chicago. They had so much business, they would have local ladies paint the pottery at home, bring it across on the train over to Irwin, and it would be fired there. And then they would bring back more pottery to paint. So it was all hand painted porcelain and earthenware. And uh, we've just been collecting it and sharing our collection with other people. And it, it's proved to be very popular in this area. And there are whole festivals around it over in the uh, Erwin, Tennessee area. One of our favorites is this beautiful pottery that's very similar to Blue Ridge. In fact, Marie was a painter from Blue Ridge who lived in Poplar, North Carolina. And she would go across and paint every day. And she got so good that she started her own business. And, and hence, Marie's is a company. And these are two of the pieces that we have. This little piece and this gorgeous teapot. And they're very valuable and very collectible. Because they're from Mitchell County and because she is from Mitchell County and still paints at 97, this is a fabulous, fabulous piece. And how can they learn more about you? We're in Bakersville in between the, on Main Street, in between the library and the bank. And our name is Valley Chan Antiques and Collectibles. You can find us on Facebook. If you search that, you'll be able to find us. And also we have a website.